Hi, today we're going to look at my Siglent SDS2102 oscilloscope. This oscilloscope uses super phosphor technology. The bandwidth is 100 megahertz, and the sampling rate is 2 gigasamples per second. This model has two channels, channel 1 and channel 2. There's another model available that has four channels, and they'll be there and there. So those, the knobs will be over there, channel 3 and channel 4. Over here is another option. This is the 8-bit MSO channel. That's for measuring digital signals, but it's optional. Next is the USB port. So you can store your memory, waveforms, things like that on a USB drive. And then we have the, uh, this one is for testing the probe settings. Uh, it outputs a 1 kilohertz 3 VPP signal, a pulse signal. And then we have the uh, generator output, which is controlled up there. Okay, now let's look at the controls. So here is the horizontal, okay, it has a zoom function right there, okay. And this knob, you can turn to adjust the time base and this knob will control the left and right position. Over here we have the run controls. There's the auto setup, the default, that's the factory settings, and then the run and stop, and then you can turn the wave generator on and off. Over here is the universal control knob, and next is the trigger menu. Then we have the main menu, over here is the vertical controls. It says vertical, but it's really for decode, digital, math, and reference settings. Down below are the vertical controls. So you see the two channels, channel 1, channel 2, okay? And the knobs adjust the volts per division. Okay, now let's turn on the machine. Okay, we've got our probe attached to the generator. We're producing a 1 kilohertz 3 VPP square wave. Okay, Siglent, the logo. You'll see our options there. We've got AWG and decode. License type, permanent, in remaining times, unlimited. Now let's hit auto here. Okay, and then we should start producing our square wave. Okay. We can change to rising and falling. Okay, now you can see that we're triggered at the moment. We can adjust the trigger with the knob. Turn it right to go up. And now we're untriggered. That's saying auto. Go back down. Now we're triggered again. Okay, now let's press auto. That'll give us our square wave. Okay, we can set it to rising or falling. Those are the options. Now if we look, it's triggered now. If we adjust the trigger level to the right, we go up. If we go high enough, it'll be untriggered. And the machine will switch now to auto. Okay, so the display would say auto when you're untriggered. Press the knob and it will zero out. Okay, now we look at the time base. Right now we're set to 200. Now, if we go all the way to the right there, we're at one nanosecond. Okay, so if we go left, it'll count up. There's one, two, five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred, two hundred, five hundred. Then we go to microseconds, milliseconds, seconds, all the way up to fifty seconds. Okay. Now we can change to the delay. Okay, set to zero now. Go to the left, pre-trigger. Press the knob, it'll zero out again. Go to the right, post-trigger. Zero it out again. Now, if we press the universal knob on the horizontal section, we can open the zoom. Okay, zoom out or zoom in. Now you can press the button again and turn it off, or press the zoom bu button. Now if we press the horizontal button, 
we can see the format. We're set to YT at the moment. We can go XY or roll. Okay, so now we've hit the horizontal button and we can see our format options. It's currently set to YT. We also have XY and roll. So that's pretty simple. Okay, now you can see our three format modes. We've got X, uh, YT, XY, and Roll. We've got it set to XY now, and then we're going to use our waveform generator to produce two signals and connect it, and then you'll see the listed you pattern. Okay, now that we're in XY mode, we've got the waveform generator with, connected with two signals output going to the two inputs, X and Y. Okay, so we can adjust the X here with this knob, right and left. Press it and it zeroes out. Again, Y, up and down, left and right. Okay. Now let's look at the generator. We can adjust the phase. It's at zero now. Go all the way to the right, keep going. Now we're at 20 degrees, okay, now we're at 90 degrees and we see a full circle. Okay, we keep going, we can go back down, okay now we've looked at our perfect circle at 90 degrees on the XY, so let's go to the roll mode. Roll mode is used for a slow wave, a low frequency wave. So let's set it up with a sine wave just on channel channel 1. Let's turn off channel 2. Okay. Now you can see we've got it set to 1 hertz and it goes from right to left. Right to left. Now, if we want to, we can stop and capture just a sec section and zoom in on any kind of imperfection to see what the problem is. Very useful.